Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. I'm laughing because my zipper was down, but that has nothing to do with this video. So this is not a tiny house related video. In this video, I'm gonna be installing lighting in this barn right here. I'll be going from this to this. Minus one, because if I would have turned it on, it would have blinded you and it would have defeated the purpose of this whole shot. This is part one of a three part video series. The next two parts of this series will be in the description below, so be sure to check them out. If you watch my videos for the entertainment educational portion of my videos, then you'll probably enjoy this video. Um, if you're here just for my tiny house build, then stay tuned. In about two weeks, three weeks, there'll be tiny house videos again. Is it fogged? It looks foggy. So this series was the first series that I filmed with the new camera, and it was basically me testing and learning how to use this, this new equipment that I have that you've already seen me use in other episodes. It's slightly inappropriate at some portions, but I did my best to censor everything out. So I've got everything I need to do this project. I got 500 feet of wire. I got a bunch of exterior floodlights, light bulbs to go with. I got some boxes to do the electrical work in. A bunch of crap. Two cover plates, four light switches, four of those, four of those, two of those. Ready? Let's go collect the tools. Need this whole bucket, utility knife, screwdriver, wire strippers, hammer. I need a fucking big Phillips. Why do they still make flatheads? Pencil. Worry about the screwdriver in a minute. That's good enough to get going for a good while. This thing is a monstrosity. So the first thing I'm gonna do is run two lines to this box. I also have a 15 amp breaker. I'm gonna install here, and those two wires are gonna go into that same breaker. So I got a bunch of 14-2 wire. 14-2 will carry um, 15 amps of electricity, I believe. Se habla espanol. Remember when English was like the first page? Not anymore. Man, this mother cold up in here. So I already got these three switches here, which control the stalls, the hallway and the stall, and then this one right here. Uh, I'm gonna install two more fluorescent tubers in the barn. I'm installing two floodlights pointing towards the corral, one pointing towards the other barn, and then one out the back. So that'll be on three other switches, one that controls that, one there, yeah, so forth. So I'm gonna run two lines from here to the box. I'm just gonna roll the wire out so I can get it to stay flat when I'm nailing it up against the wall. It looks pretty. I don't know if that's code or anything. I really need a tool belt to work. So I got that wire coming in here to the box. I'm gonna give myself a couple feet and staple her down. I'm gonna put it on the other side. Hello, hi, how are you? Is everything okay? So these plastic wire clippers should be able to put two wires underneath one clip. So I'm not gonna clip any of this until I run that second line. So those boxes are gonna go right here. So I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more than what I need and I'll run my second line. You might be thinking, why am I running two lines to it where I could probably get it off one? I just don't wanna overload the system, so I'm kinda of doing more than what is needed. That makes sense. I know electricians are probably shaking their heads, but I figure if I push out too many amps on it, that's dangerous, so. This way I'm not overloading the wire by any means. I will tell you that this tripod makes things awesome to work with. Setting the shots up is a cake. Should have said walk or I should have said peace. Those were two words that would have been acceptable to use in that sentence. I can run it tight, tighter than I ran the other one, so I'll run it behind some stuff. Good to go. I'll probably come back to this point in possibly a later episode. Who knows how many this is gonna be. I'm guessing three episodes. I still have no idea how far apart these clips are supposed to go. 32 inches, two feet really looks nice. My fingers are so cold right now, I feel like they could possibly fall off. That's the one thing I don't like about how I release my videos is that the seasons are changing. My videos are so far behind the seasons. I just had a video come out last week and I was sweating in it. So I got these double gang boxes. No, they're not in a gang, they just have two, two things. Horrible humor you have. It's it's almost borderline obnoxious. So I got these double gang boxes for two different sections for the light switches. 
Now, these are probably not the right ones for this application, but. So, I can't really nail these into a stud because there's no stud, so I'm just gonna screw the box into this. I'm gonna pre-drill. I'm gonna put an exterior screw in it. I'm gonna run one of these wires into one of these boxes, and the other one into the other box. I'm just gonna knock out this thingamajiggy in here. I don't know what they're called, but they're there. They're a thing. And I knew they were gonna be a pain in the ace. I should have done it before. Yeah, dumb ace. There it is. So now I'm gonna split this single wire into two sections so I can go into two different light switches and then go to two lights. There's probably a different way of doing it. I don't know. I'm gonna come about three inches down. I still think that's too much, but give it a shot. Oh, I forgot to do the Jake loop. Got no room for error now. So I'm gonna install one light up there somewhere. I don't know where I can reach. It's gonna be dangerous. And then I'm gonna put one basically right over the tractor. There's a big trailer that parks in here in the winter. So I figure we'll need light on that side. Plus that's the dark corner. We get a lot of light here, but at night, this light right here will be to get some of this hay. We'll light this up. Yeah, so let's run those wires. What do you say? That's gonna be a pain in the ass. You know what? We should do a junction box right there. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. You can always put another light up there. Why am I recording what I'm thinking? Who's that, Peanut? That's Bullet. Before he gained some weight. All right, get up there. I don't like having this $400 microphone on me. This piece right here is like 150 bucks. Where do I put it so it's safe? It doesn't break. Oh, put your hand right into a black widow nest. That's nice. You know what? Better to have more than less. So I'm gonna run this one. This wire right here is gonna end up controlling these inside lights. And I want all the inside lights here first and then the outside lights here. So this is gonna end up being this first light switch. So I'm gonna put it in that box. Sometimes helps to put a loop in it or a curve so you can get it down in there. Give myself a little extra to work with. Probably my favorite feature of this new camera is that I can say audio and I can see it. I don't need to say audio, I can say anything, but. Holy sh There. Man, this is dangerous. You guys watching? So I'm gonna do a junction box here, and I'm from there I'm gonna tee off to go to that light. In the future, if I ever wanna run a light to up here, everything that I'll need will be right there. I can just splice into it. Now this, I doubt I'm gonna nail it across that beam because I got no way of really getting up there. Maybe one day I will, but I'm gonna bring this line out to where it's gonna go and pull it tight. It should stay. This is again stupid. What are you gonna sit on it? I should probably measure and center it, but I'm willing to bet that's about center right here. That two by four doesn't have much life left to it. That should give me enough for what I gotta do there. So I was just walking around the farm and I found this giant ladder. I think it's 16, 14, who knows. It's a big boy. It'll make this project so much easier. So I just ran the wire down roughly in the middle of this section here. Gave myself some slack. I think the light's gonna start on this rafter and run out, I think. Nice catch. That's gonna make it in the video slow-mo zoomed in because that was good. That's ugly too. You climbed the ladder wrong. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't, didn't realize. Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> Feed those wires in prior. Cut all these a couple inches out. Just gonna strip all these a half inch back. 
using the wire strippers with the correct hole. I'm just gonna take these wire nut thingies, these new age wire nuts. What are they called? Ensure. These things are awesome. So I'll take all the white wires and put them to the white. Make sure all the black go in with all the blacks. I never thought electricity was so racist. Now, if I ever want to install another light up here, I can come to this box and I can splice off of these possibly. I believe so. I could be wrong. Now, I just need to get a clear plastic cover for this with no holes in it. And that'll be done right there. So now I have that feed line coming in that's carrying the power. And then it's breaking off here. And it's, one's going to that light and one's going to that other light. Okay, again with the stupid ideas, I've got them. So I got two of these tube lighting thingies. What are they called? Fluorescent lighting? Fluorescent? Yeah, sure. We'll call them tube lighters. So they come with a hard wire already in it, but you can remove that and then you can run these things in series. So you can connect one wire and just keep going with them. And I believe they only require one amp, so 0.85 amps. You can run almost 15 on one 15 amp breaker. So since I'm hardwiring this in, I got to take this cover off and disconnect that wire. And make sure I lose that screw too, because that's important. So where these two wires come in, they go into this little thing. If you just push in this releaser, they'll pop right out. And there's also a ground wire that goes right to the frame of the thing. Take that out. Again, lose the screw. It's very important when you do that. Really screw shit up. And that one's gone. That one's no joke. So you just gotta pull this wire thingy out, which is always really difficult for me. Yes. Now this, any good farmer would tell you to save that. That's a good thing right there. It's a wire with an end. You can make a lamp with that if you want. Make a lamp with that. Yeah, you can make lamps. Oh, I found that screw that we were missing. What a joyous day. The next shot will be in one second, but it, let me tell you, it's gonna take forever to set it up. Cool? Hit that subscribe button, please. Thank you. I like that right there. We'll feed the wire into it. Got plenty. Oh, that's in the way, though. Stay for a second, please. Now I'm going to feed this in here. I'm going to put a loop in here in case this ever needs to get moved. I have a little bit of slack. Now on these, I just want to put a slight bend in them. Negative ground live negative ground i would assume that's what the l stands for should have paid attention which was which you done gone screwed up boy that worked beautifully Ooh, that was a bad hit put the light bulbs in and that's one of six lights i gotta do cool all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video again this is a three-part video series so the links for the other parts of this series will be down below and they'll be available once they're released if you're new to my channel and you like these kind of videos make sure you hit that subscribe button i put out videos once or twice a week it's going to be twice but that makes me nervous saying twice because it probably won't be that way forever if you would leave your comments down below letting me know what i did wrong to educate other people uh, be nice and do it in a way that is tactful or else I will not be tactful in my response to you But I thank you for commenting What else am I gonna say and if you would hit that thumbs up button because that's cool peanut come here Pretty sure she's gonna kill something today kill it. You got to eat it. Well, I'm not eating it. They're gross